and uh, such a pleasure for me to be interacting with you and uh, you know kind of taking your interview and uh, uh, today being a such a special day for us because we have launched the Suchitra fifth kit for our students of Suchitra Academy and we also intend to open it out to other schools, other deserving schools I would say. So just have a couple of questions for you. Uh, that I'm sure everybody wants to know. How do you keep yourself fit during the pandemic? It has been four months now. Uh, so how, have, how are you keeping yourself fit? Yes, um, so hello everyone. And uh, yes, I think it's a very good launch today, ma'am. Uh, the fit kit, and I'm sure that definitely, you know, a lot of kids uh, would uh, do some sort of exercise, and I'm sure that even other schools then, you know, even the government, Telangana government and the Amra government uh, would definitely accept it and it will go much further. Mm -hmm. I congratulate uh, Sushitra Academy on that and also you and Praveen sir. Thank you. So, yes, uh, talking about, you know, uh, keeping myself fit in this pandemic, I would say it's very important to, you know, mentally and physically stay calm and, uh, you know, um, in these times, a lot of uh, people might uh, really feel uh, bad or really uh, get depressed or don't know what to do. But I think in these situations, you have to, yes, one is fitness where you need to uh, maintain your uh, exercise every day because that's very important for your, um, you know, for your immune system. And also exercise is very important for everybody's body, I would say. And uh, secondly, uh, nowadays, everybody should keep themselves busy. Uh, I think for me, um, I uh, never got this much time uh, to spend uh, with my family. Uh, so this is the right time. I keep myself really busy and keep learning on uh, new things, uh, which is very important right now because you know if we keep thinking about you know uh, what's going to happen or when is it, when is it going to start, I think that would actually depress you uh, a lot more. So in that way, yes, I keep doing my fitness uh, at home from my house because you know. As you mentioned, um, you know you can do uh, own body exercises or yoga asanas and a lot of exercises uh, uh, you can do from home. So I would recommend everybody, you know, you can keep yourself fit even from your houses. And uh, I would say mentally, I think everybody, I would request everyone to do a little bit of meditation and yoga because that has helped me to keep myself calm and uh, also engage yourself in doing uh, new things and uh, something uh, creative. And I do, uh, that is how I spend my time and I hope that everybody at their houses will spend their time. That's really lovely. And what are your hobbies otherwise? I mean, what else are you doing apart from, uh, you know, keeping yourself fit during this time? Well, you're getting the time now. Yeah. <laughs> so, I've been painting some stuff and I've been, I, I like painting. So, you know, it, before it was always badminton and, you know, come back home and then travel again. But uh, right now, since I have time, I've been learning cooking, and I've been, uh, you know, uh, I've been painting on the canvas. So it's kind, it kind of keeps me busy, you know. That that really, I really enjoy to do stuff like that. That's really nice. Okay. And um, do you know what do you see the future of badminton or any sport for that matter right now after the lockdown? How do you think it's going to be? Well, it's, it's uh, even though after the lockdown is done or after the vaccine comes, I think we all have to take care of ourselves and keep that social distancing always and, you know, cover our faces with masks and keep sanitizing our hands. That is the most important aspect, I would say. Even the virus, keep, uh, even the virus is gone. And um, especially, yes, it's going to be tough for a lot of people where, you know, uh, especially the first person uh, to go out there and um, uh, for the tournaments and go to other countries and uh, you know you won't find uh, that uh, crowd support or the people coming and supporting you. I think that's a bit uh, sad but you know um, it's very important right now because our lives are very important for us and we need to get used to the situation accordingly because now we never knew we never knew that you know this pandemic is gonna happen this way and we all have come to a standstill but uh, since we have been getting used to this i am sure we will also get used to the future where you know there will not be much of people around in the stadium i know a lot of people uh, have seen a sport you know uh, who have taken sport as an inspiration and there are a lot of people out there who want a uh, lot of uh, Indians to come up there and watch their matches outside the country. But I'm sure it's, gonna, it's not going to happen. But you know, definitely there's going to be some or other alternative, like you know, online uh, um, matches showing up and yeah, different matches showing up. So I would say it's 
a bit of sad, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm sure we will all get used to it. Yeah. The stadiums would be empty, but possibly we all would try want, uh, yeah. watch it from home. Right? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay, Sindhu, uh, you have been coming to school all the while. Um, what do you have to say about this? Exactly. <laughs> yes, I've already mentioned, I would say it's the second home for me. And uh, I think, yeah, I am very thankful to all the teachers, um, Pradeep sir, Praveen sir, because uh, they've always been there and they've always been supporting and motivating, not only, uh, you know, allowing me to come here and do my own things, like fitness I've been doing since 2017. It's been like almost more than three years, three and a half years now. And I've really improved my fitness. And um, also especially talking about Suchitra, the kids over here and the students here and the playground and the studies have been really tremendous and I think uh, studies and sports is, is very important and I can see it here, okay. it, yes, yes, I can see it here where you know both are equally important um, uh, for every, every, every individual and um, yeah I would say it's the second home for me <laughs> uh, because uh, not only um, physical but also mental aspect, uh, they've always been there to support me no matter what. So yeah, I'm very, very thankful to all of you. <laughs> and uh, you know, I mean, I've missed the children in the, in the playgrounds where they would be just be excellent to their seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, yeah, the children have been really, very really sweet because I remember a uh, lot of times I've been, like, I thought every day and you know, every day that the enthusiasm in children it is there and they're like, okay, Sindhu and they're taking up sport and I think every sport um, is, is very important. I think every sport is here and children here are very lucky to have this curriculum and especially, you know, we've launched this uh, fit kit. So I would say I would recommend everybody to join it and I encourage and I congratulate everyone that, you know, you guys are very lucky. So I'm sure when you come back to Suchitra Academy, you're going to enjoy it and have fun. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah. Thank you.